Now it is very easy to go overboard with all these covariant structures etc. But you must understand that covariant structures are something like a cosmetic element in a linear model. You cannot expect that just by changing the covariant structure or using lots of fancy covariant structure thing, you can really improve the fit a lot. So the basic thing of the fit will always depend on how you are choosing your X matrix. So if you put lots of parameters there, it is quite natural that sometimes you will just get some garbage thing. So do not try to play too much with that. Though it is true that many standard softwares will actually give you many, many different options of the choice about the covariance matrix. And it might be very tempting to play too much with them. But as I said, while they are important to capture that covariant structure, the, the behavior of the covariance, they are not that important in a linear model. So the natural question is, after you have postulated some uh, sigma theta, in that case, how do you fit the model? How do you estimate all those covariance parameters, as well as the coefficient parameters, the beta? Well, the answer from the user's perspective is pretty simple. What you do is, you just look at that entire model, which is y equal to x beta plus epsilon, where epsilon follows this particular covariance structure. You can Consider this as a more compactly written model on Y alone. That means Y actually follows a normal distribution, joint normal with mean X beta and covariant sigma theta. So you now have a distribution of Y in terms of all these parameters beta and theta. You just write down the likelihood function, take log and maximize it. So you can always do that. So that is the standard way by which all softwares will estimate beta and theta simply by maximum likelihood estimation. Typically, this maximization, while conceptually pretty simple, will be computationally quite involved. But from the user's perspective, we hardly care about that. But typically, if your covariance structures are too complicated, there are too many theta parameters, you will find that those iterative methods will not convert. For example, if you are using that unstructured covariance matrix, which means all the entries of your sigma matrix, or rather one triangular half of that sigma matrix are considered to be your parameters, then the number of theta parameters is huge. In that case, you can sort of expect that it is not going to converge at all. So it will be in your own interest to keep this covariance structure simple.